Hey, good morning, friends. Still, as we center our lives around Jesus, um, our primary pursuit is his presence. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1. Peter, we know the guy, right? This is the rock. Peter, an apostle, a sent one of King Jesus to God's elect. That's God's chosen who were exiles, scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to be obedient to King Jesus, Father, Son, and Spirit, and sprinkled with his blood, grace and peace be yours in abundance. Even in his first lines, Peter, now sitting in Rome and writing to uh, he's writing to people who are uh, Jesus followers, uh, who are uh, mostly, they're not Jewish people. He, pretty Jewish, right? But they are not. Uh, and he's writing to them because they're, they're taking heat from their Greek and Roman neighbors. They don't, they don't have Roman citizenship. They don't have the rights. Um, uh, they're kind of less than human out in the world. And, and yet he reminds them, hey, you are chosen. Very Jewish idea. Uh, Deuteronomy, right? And uh, P Peter's going to play off of this over and over again. Uh, in Deuteronomy, God speaks to uh, the children of Israel. And he says, "You, for you, Israel, are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possessions. Peter starts by reminding us, hey, we're, we're exiles, right? Uh, we don't belong here. Um, we have a citizenship in a whole other place, and we are out of place. And yet, right where we are, we're chosen. And anybody, any of us can get in to being chosen, right? Uh, we can choose his chosenness, right? His choosing. And then to us, what is that experience like? It is grace and peace. So remember this morning that you are right where you are in this moment, and could not be more, uh, our Father's treasured possession. We have been chosen, Father, according to the, your uh, foreknowledge, and, and through the sanctifying work, the, the remaking, reconciling, renewing work of the Spirit uh, to be obedient to King Jesus, to take his commands seriously. And we're sprinkled by his blood. And to us then, today, may your grace and your peace be ours in abundance. Amen. Grace and peace, friends.